pseudocode for depth first search. In the previous video, we have taken a look at the working of the depth first search algorithm. In this video, we will see how to write the pseudocode for the same. But before we actually write the code for it, let us recap the steps involved in the depth first search algorithm. So the input to the DFS algorithm is a graph. The aim of the DFS is to traverse the graph. What do I mean by traverse? I want to visit all the vertices and visit all the edges. Now, initially, before we start the DFS, all the vertices are unvisited and all the edges are undiscovered. Why? Because we have not yet started our traversal. So these are the initial conditions. After that, we choose an arbitrary start vertex. After that, we visit that vertex. When we visit that vertex, we make that vertex our current vertex. Now from the current vertex, we search for undiscovered edges. If I find an undiscovered edge, then I must look at the vertex that follows that undiscovered edge. So I have found an undiscovered edge and now I have to look at the adjacent vertex therein. So if that vertex is an unvisited vertex, what must I do? I will set the edge that brought me to the unvisited vertex as a discovered edge and I am going to visit that vertex. Now suppose the adjacent vertex that followed the undiscovered edge was a visited vertex. In that case, I need to set my edge as a back edge. Now what if the vertex does not have any undiscovered edges? In that case, there is no undiscovered edges found and we need to backtrack to the parent. So these are the steps we took when we performed depth first search. Now let's start to write the pseudo code for it. So let's say my algorithm will be called DFS. And as input, I'm going to take a graph, say G. Now initially, I need to set all the vertices as unvisited. So for all V belonging to G dot vertices, what must I do? I'm going to set the label of that vertex to unvisited. Set label is a function that you can write outside the DFS algorithm. So now I have set all the vertices to unvisited. What is the next step? I need to set all the edges to undiscovered. So for all E belonging to G dot edges, what must I do? I set the label of that edge to undiscovered. So I have satisfied the initial conditions. Now I need to choose an arbitrary start vertex. So let's say I say for a vertex V that belongs to G dot vertices So I'm going to choose a vertex V that belongs to G dot vertices arbitrarily. I'm going to visit that vertex. So choose an arbitrary start vertex and then visit it. So let's say that visit is going to be another function I'm going to write. So I'm going to visit the vertex V which is present in graph G. Now, with this in mind, let's take a look at how we will write the visit function. So I have a function visit. I'm taking in a vertex V and a graph G. I need to visit this vertex in this graph. So first and foremost, I am visiting the vertex. 
So I am going to set the label of that vertex to visited. After that, I need to search for undiscovered edges. So I am going to go through all the incident edges to V and check each one whether it is undiscovered. So for all E belonging to V dot incident edges, what must I do? I need to check if there is a undiscovered edge. So if E dot label is equal to undiscovered. So if E dot label is undiscovered and it is found, what must I do? I need to check the adjacent vertex that the undiscovered edge has led me to. So let's say that W is going to be the adjacent vertex from V that is going to be found through edge E. So W is going to be the adjacent vertex that the undiscovered edge E is going to lead you to. Now what must I do to W? If W is an unvisited vertex, I need to do these steps. So if W dot label is equal to unvisited, then what must I do? I need to set the edge to discovered. So set label E to discovered. And then I need to visit that vertex. So now I have to visit W. In which graph? In G. So this is if W was unvisited. What if W was visited? In that case, we need to set the edge to a back edge. So I'm going to set label of E as back. So now this is what we do if the edge is undiscovered. So we are going to do this for all incident edges. Now when we come to this line of code, none of the incident edges will be undiscovered. So then we need to backtrack. So how I'm going to implement that is I'm simply going to close the function here. So you might ask how does that achieve backtracking? So suppose we are at a vertex A. Now we are going to go and we suppose we have to visit another vertex B. So from this line, I will go to another function. So when does the function backtrack? If the secondary function is over, then the flow of control comes back to this line, which is essentially backtracking to the parent. So since when the function completes, the flow of control goes back to the place the function was called, that is the function of the parent we can say that we have backtracked to the parent. This will be more clear when we see an example. So with that, we have come to the end of the DFS algorithm and the visit function, which we call from the DFS algorithm. So to understand this, let's look at an example. Let's say that this is our graph. So in the beginning, all vertices are unvisited, all the edges are undiscovered. Now I am going to choose 
some vertex which belongs to G. Let's say that I am going to choose A. What must I do to A? I need to visit it. So I am going to do visit A in this graph. So first I need to set label of A to visit it. So let's say I am going to represent that with a shaded circle. So I will visit A. Now for all E belonging to the incident edges on A, so 1, 2, 3 and 4, if E is equal to undiscovered. So let's take this edge. So E is equal to undiscovered. So let's see what to do. W is equal to adjacent vertex. So from A I have come through this edge to B. So B is going to be W. If W dot label is unvisited, yes, B is unvisited as of now, then we set the label of that edge which brought us to B as discovered. So let's say I am going to represent a discovered edge using a double line. Now we visit W in this graph. So now we have to visit B. I set the label of B to visit it. I go through the edges of E. If E dot label is undiscovered, yes, I found a edge which is undiscovered. My W becomes the adjacent vertex, so my W is C. If W dot label is unvisited, yes, C is unvisited. Then I will set the edge to discovered and I am going to visit C. I come back here. Set label of C to visit it. Now, for all E belonging to the incident edges on C, so I am going to check if it is undiscovered. So I have an undiscovered edge here. Now, we check W. Our W is A. So, is A equal to unvisited? No. A is a visited node. Is A a visited node? Yes. So what must we do? We set the edge to a back edge. Let's say I represent a back edge like this. Now what must we do? We go to the next edge incident on C. So now I check is it undiscovered? Yes, it is undiscovered. W will be my adjacent vertex that is D. Now is D unvisited? Yes, D is unvisited. So I will set it as a discovery edge and I am going to visit D. So I will come back here. Set label D to visit it. Take an undiscovered edge coming from E. My W will become A. W is visited so set it as a back edge. Now I come back here. Are there any more incident edges on D? No. So I come back and I finish my function. Why? Because this for loop has completed. So now I go back to where my function was called. Where was my function called? The function to visit D was called inside the function to visit C. So we go back to visit of C comma G. And in that state I was one by one visiting all the edges coming from C. So now I go to the next edge of C. So now I have this edge, it is undiscovered, E is unvisited, so I will set it as a discovery edge and I will go to visit E. So now I will go to visit E. I will set E to visited. I will see that there is an undiscovered edge. My W is visited, so this becomes a back edge. Now there are no more incident edges to E. So what must I do? I finish my function. Where was this function called? This function was called when I was visiting C and I had found that there is an undiscovered edge with an unvisited vertex. So since that function has completed, I come back to my visit C comma G. Now I see C. Are there any more edges with respect to C? No. So what must I do? My for loop ends and I finish my function. Where was the function visit C called? The function visit C was called within the function for visit B. So now I go back to the line where I called visit C which was present in visit B. Now we check B. 
are there any more edges that we've not seen no so then we come out of the for loop and then we come out of the function so where was this function visit b called visit b was called within the function visit a so now i am at visit a are there any more edges that are undiscovered that are incident on a no so we come out of the function and we have completed the visit a function so we have completed the initial function which we have called and with that we return from the dfs algorithm so what have we achieved we have achieved all the vertices to be this to be visited and all the edges none of them are undiscovered so with that we can say our dfs algorithm is working now it is important to note that this algorithm will only work for a connected graph as you can see in our example we could only go to each vertex when each vertex is somewhat connected to each other either directly or indirectly if it is not a connected graph this algorithm is not sufficient for example suppose i had a graph like this if we call dfs on our arbitrary start vertex say a then we will go to a we will discover this edge and we will visit b then b will have no more edges to discover it will backtrack to a a will finish its function and it will come here but in that case c and d are not being traversed so if we use this algorithm only the connected portion to the arbitrary start vertex is going to be covered so how do we modify this algorithm to accommodate disconnected graphs as well what we are going to do is we are going to say for all vertices begin belonging to g dot vertices if v dot label is going to be unvisited i am going to start the visit of that vertex so how will this accommodate for a disconnected graph let's say i choose a first as my arbitrary vertex i will see that there is an edge here i will discover it i will visit b so i'll set it to visit it b does not have any more incident edges it will backtrack to a a does not have any incident edges it will backtrack so we will come back here now i will go to the next vertex of g dot vertices i'll go to b is b dot label unvisited no so then i'll go to the next vertex i'll go to c is c dot label unvisited yes so now i'm going to visit c so i'll visit c i'll find an edge i'll discover it i'll visit d set it to visited no more incident edges backtrack to c no more incident edges backtrack to the function call so now i will finish this if statement i will go back to for all vertices i'll check d is d unvisited no so i will come back here are there any more vertices no so i will come out of the function so this is how to write the pseudo code for the depth first search algorithm